morphing. You can actually have a, a morph or a blend shape dr uh, driven by talking. Um, and it could be anything, really. I mean, if, if I wanted it to, you know, if I wanted him to, like, I don't know, have his tail move when you talk, you could do that. Um, the the example I gave before, now I'm going to do the, I'm going to save this. I'm going to do the cooking show thing. Go back where, to Blender. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm going to do this <laughs> cooking show thing where I uh, load up a file I made yesterday so I don't have to bore you with I me put doing this in the this. oven and here's, uh, and oh, then it's ready. 45 minutes <laughs> at 350 and it's done. Um, was that fast? I forget what I named it. I think it was, uh, what is it called? And what what you um, did in this file basically is you created a separate morph target um, for the mouth being being open. Is that right? Yeah. So so what I did here was I made a blend shape, uh, and I I don't really have to explain this because that's Blender stuff. You you could look that up. Mm -hmm. But um, I made a shape key called mouth open, and when the value goes from zero to one, the the mouth does that. So yep. you could do that with a bone but uh then it would be hard to drive with the audio because we only do scale and yeah we don't have like a bone rotation audio feedback uh, we could definitely create one like it's uh these audio components are actually really easy to make so a bone rotation audio feedback or a bone movement audio feedback is a thing we could do we can do a color audio feedback you know like um these are these are all sorts of things we can add and, and they're very little code to so, do them. so if people have ideas or you know want to submit pull requests with different audio feedback components um Happy so to, I'll just show you the one I made yesterday when it was done um, and what it looks like when I talk. So this this one is a lot better because it does that. And I kind of like yeah. the, I love that there was an inside of the mouth. And so I felt yeah, like really, I really needed to <laughs> it's do really that. Cool looking. Um, usually when you talk at the, the lower jaw moves, but I was like, Oh, crocodiles, you know, no, I like you that. think of the top. It, it fits like, up. well, cause you know, it also has like those floating eyeballs and all that. It just, it just feels right for that. <laughs> Yeah, for that, and uh, um, and actually, sure. I experimented with both. I had the head swell while the mouth opened, and it that mm -hmm. also worked. It wasn't bad. Uh, and so I'll do. Let me just show you a quick uh, exam, a couple other examples. This this one uh, is one you may have seen already. I grabbed this off of Sketchfab, and uh, I love it. Um, yeah, this one's really cool. And so I made the mouth open and close when you talk, and then the other two mouths uh, are just animating with some bones inside them. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a good example of like adding extra bones. Um, and those, those ones are just always kind of moving around while I talk. Yep. And you see them. And then, um, you know, the head also turns and bends. And, and in uh, chat, they're asking about like the morph target you had on the head was moving the eyeballs. Um, does that have any impact on the animation on the bones for the for the you know for the eyes looking around no because the 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 morph happens for uh, last i guess it has to do with the order of the skinning and mm -hmm. then the the morph so um it doesn't seem to mess up the eye animation at all um i think it's just because of the the order um that's a really good question but i was pleasantly surprised to see that it did not mess that up mm -hmm. Uh, and then yeah, this, and, and this is the one you were talking about before this card that I made. Right. Um, the, yeah, this one's really cool. <laughs> the, the mouth and eyes move when, when I talk, or the mouth moves when I talk, the eyes are idling with the same animation. But because it's skinned from top to bottom, um, let's see if I can, you can see my, let me get rid of the hood. There we go. Uh, it's hard to see. So you can see the eyes and the mouth moving. It's kind of subtle. Um, but the part I, I, I like how subtle it is because like you'll be talking like I, I remember during a meetup you were using this avatar and you know we were talking for a while and then I and then I noticed it like after a while I was like oh wow <laughs> like it was actually kind of cool that it was so, it was so subtle yeah so th to show this better I'm actually gonna duplicate this tab and then um, Just you make can sure you cancel out of the uh... so yeah it'll it'll allow me to be in two at once um, and so now I can see my other self. Um, and then what I'll do is drag this out and like put it on one side of my screen. I don't know. I have no idea what you're seeing right now, but uh, it's only showing one of the windows. Which so. one are you seeing? The, 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 the one on the left, probably. 
Oh, you're right. You're seeing the one on the left. Oh, yeah. You can't really do that. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I mean, both of the avatars are using the card avatar, so it's fine. I know, I but then whichever you... one I, I activate to move, it... I think that'll work. Does if that work? You... Yeah, that's working fine. Yeah, so like when I look up and down, it does this because of the way it's skinned. And when mm -hmm. I look left and right, you get this nice drifting... Essentially, think of the top as the head and the bottom as the, the rest of the body. So Yeah, basically, we have the, the chest and the hips... Um, slowly kind of follow behind the, with a slight delay behind the head and it'll snap like if you if you rotate quickly it'll snap like it's not going to just like slowly twist around or exorcist on you or anything like that but um it uh that's like the very basic ik we have in, in place right now and and um that'll probably expand like to, to have hands and, and other stuff around. but it was kind of a nice yeah. side effect um yeah and i was i was pleasantly surprised how well this could work um, I, ended, it, I made the card a little bit bent so that it never looked totally flat. You know, it was like a little bit. Um, 